The Ronald McDonald House Charities is a part of a global network operating in over 40 countries. In New Zealand, RMH partners with the Starship Hospital, the largest children's hospital in New Zealand. When families have children in the hospital, RMH offers accommodation and support free of charge. Each year, they provide this service to 3,700 families. This surely relieves a lot of the stress for the family during this difficult time. Each year, the Central Auckland Church of Christ partners with Ronald McDonald House. After service on Sunday, members of our fellowship prepare dinner for the families and their kids and then store it in their homes. And then, on the evening of the event, they bring it to the hospital to serve to the families and their kids. In addition, we host a superhero training academy for the kids. They get a superhero name, superpowers, face paint, and plenty of games to work on their superhero skills. For a few hours, the kids forget they're in the hospital and just have fun. It's always such a memorable event. If you weren't able to serve this year or you didn't really know what it was all about, we hope next year you get the chance to serve for this event. Here are some of those who served on the evening and their impression. I think just the look of exhaustion on the parents' faces when they come in and then the look of relief when they get to have some food without having to do anything, um, that really helps with me. I just think it's awesome. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, for me it was that you've got enough to worry about when you're here and we just want to take away some of the food and I think we've managed to do that tonight, which yeah. was really encouraging. Yeah, because I said to you, two months tonight and they were sharing about how they forgot to eat all day mm. and as once until they got here they were like oh man i need to eat something and i thought wow they really touched my heart and just to know that we made such a small thing this huge thing in their life so i um, appreciate it that uh, i've got this opportunity to serve yeah there's one gentleman who stood up and um just gave us a big thank you and it was just so encouraging to see how him and his family, and he sort of spoke on behalf of everyone uh, how much they enjoyed and really appreciated um, what the church had done for them. It kind of reminded me when I was in the position of being in a place like this. Um, my son was a baby, he was in intensive care for a week um, in surgery, and I was at a small facility at Starship Hospital. And I was told in advance, You're not going to get any food, you're going to have to sort out all your own food because you were just the parent, you're not the patient. So I was expecting to be getting sandwiches from the vending machine or things like this. And thinking, this is going to be pretty tough. But people provided hot, some hot food, which I wasn't expecting, and it was super encouraging. So being here tonight reminded me of that, and everyone was so encouraged. Uh, my big takeaway was to be able to give and serve, and uh, it's just great to do that. It's great to see people uh, smiling and responding. And it's also a good chance to talk to um, other workmates and uh, and things. You know, when you get back to work and you ask them, or they ask you, uh, you know, what did you do at the weekend or what did you do last night? And it's uh, great to be able to talk to people about giving. It's awesome to serve. Uh, it was fantastic just giving back, seeing smiles on children's faces, and um, you could see everyone forgot, you know, that they're actually at Starship. So yeah, that was great. I think what really impacted me was just the hard work that went into the disciples serving. And I think this is the essence of the gospel, is to serve people in need, because that's what Jesus would have done. He healed the sick and he met their needs. Uh, you know, it made me happy. Very good. Yeah, I think it's just been awesome to see that, you know, when you spend my time, not only fighting crime, but also putting a smile on people's faces and being here, I got to talk to people I never would have spoken to otherwise hear more about their lives. It was good for me to hear that and be grateful for what I had this week. Yeah, it's just been really great just actually seeing the hearts of the kids really just fighting all these huge things, but them just really loving the fact that we're here to see the strength that they have and really fighting through that too. So, but the truth is, we aren't the real superheroes here tonight. That's right, Robin. Sometimes superhero lives in the hearts of small children fighting big battles. <laughs> but the truth is, we aren't the real superheroes here tonight. That's, that is right, Robin. Sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs>